here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing some really cool pride makeup looks. It's been a little while since I made a video, you guys, during all this quarantine mess. I haven't really felt like doing much of anything except relaxing, chilling out, and praying for the world. But I am super excited to start making videos again, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. Please like and subscribe, you guys. If you're not already, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. I am going to be using the James Charles X Morphe palette for all three looks you guys but any makeup palette that has multiple rainbow colors in it will do now let's get started the first look we'll be doing is this beautiful faded rainbow look this look is so fun and so easy you guys I'm literally pretty much dipping into all the colors of the rainbow and just going across my face it's gonna look like a mask and this is perfect for festivals or pride parties wherever you're gonna be going where you want to make a big statement and we're basically creating like a rainbow flag across our face I did basic foundation and concealer drew on my eyebrows and then I just used big fluffy brushes to do the rainbow effect I feel like the fluffy brushes worked perfectly because they allow you to cover the most space no look is complete without a wing. I used my NYX liquid liner to do a wing on my eye. I then put on these beautiful Ioni lashes. I love how big and bold they are. And I finished with black liner and a black lip. The second look is this love is love beautiful rainbow eye look. This look is a lot more simple, you guys. I would use this look if maybe I was just gonna be staying in the house, going to a party, or if you like a more minimal makeup look instead of doing a whole full face FX makeup look. I decided to do one of my eyes with more of the cool tones, as you see here, the green, blue, and the purple in the rainbow. And then I did my other eye with more of the warm tones, the red, the orange, and the yellow. I thought this was really cool and really pretty way to bring the rainbow to your eyes. And I just made sure that I went almost to the top of my brow bone and then I also did under my eyes as well pretty much the same so that it looked blended and connected I then used this NYX white eyeliner to do my waterline and the NYX liquid liner for a black wing I used mascara on my lower lash line and then I applied falsies to my top lashes and then I wrote a love is love across my eyebrows in liquid liner. You guys, just make sure that you write it the way people would read it, as if they were looking at you and reading it from left to right. I really love the message love is love, and I think that really represents what pride is all about. So fun and easy to do. Our last makeup look is a little more complicated. It's this totally cool rainbow neon skull. The first thing we're going to be doing is outlining the shape of our skeleton in white pencil. What this is going to do, you guys, is when we add the color to it, it's really going to make the color pop. And it's really what we want against our skin. Because sometimes if the color's just on our skin alone, it won't be as bright and vibrant as we actually want it to be. So I'm just drawing basic shapes of what I want my skeleton to look like. You guys can draw any shapes you want. If you have a different idea of what you think a sugar skull looks like or what you like with your face shape, that's totally cool too. But this is just what I did super simple lines easy to draw I just made some teeth on my own lips I didn't put anything on my face except for normal foundation and the white pencil stuck to it perfectly I love sugar skulls and skeletons and I do a lot of skeleton looks around Halloween but I really love this for pride because it's gonna be rainbow and neon and it's really gonna stand out and it's definitely a look that would stand out at a pride festival we're continuing down our decollete, you guys, and just making sure we draw the bones on our neck and also our decollete. We love makeup, you guys. We are not doctors. This might not be anatomically correct, but it still looks awesome and it's close enough. Almost ready for the fun part, you guys. Let's watch this come to life. 
Here's where we're gonna take all our fun, bright rainbow colors and start coloring on our white lines. See how this makes the white line really pop and the color really explode off your skin? It's such a beautiful way to make sure that the colors are vibrant. But what I'm also doing is blending, you guys, because I not only want the color on the white line, I also want it faded around it. That way, when I go over it again, it's gonna be looking almost like it's lit up and neon. It's gonna look so cool, just like a neon sign. Now guys, this look does take a little time and a little bit of patience because it takes a while to really blend these colors out. I also recommend picking colors that blend well together, like see how I did pink turning into purple or green turning into yellow or blue turning into purple. I did colors that normally fade into each other on the color wheel already so that it's much easier to blend. So I do recommend that you do that as well. And I also picked the lightest colors in the palette. I didn't want to use the darkest purple or the darkest blue or the darkest green because I feel like when you use the lighter ones, it gives more of that neon effect than if you use the darker colors. Continue on down the neck and the decollete, and then you'll be good to start making this really look neon. Next, using a white liquid liner, you're going to trace everything that you already did. What you're gonna do is use your white liquid liner and go over that initial white line that you created with the regular white pencil. This is gonna really make everything pop, you guys. As you can see, it's starting to make my face look almost like it's lit. I love this so much, and this was absolutely probably one of the most fun skulls that I've ever done. Continue this down your whole face, neck, and decollete, and then your look will be complete. Definitely gonna catch attention with this look at any Pride Festival. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching these speed tutorials. I love you guys so much. Remember you are beautiful with or without makeup. Take care of yourself, our world, and each other. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Happy Pride Month.